Hey guys, welcome to Ninja Room Foot Channel. It's your boy Franklin. Here's another fantastic episode. Right, I'm gonna go straight to this story. So I got an email from this uh, lady, and she's asked me to make a, you know, anonymous. So I'm gonna basically try to compress this in the interest of, you know, the length of the video, right? So she basically, I'm gonna make her anonymous as I said, right? So she's basically got this boyfriend. They've been leaving um, in the UK for some years now. So unfortunately, this lady has no papers. Her boyfriend has no papers, right? You know, for those of you diasporans, people that leave abroad, it's one of the very common challenges that people face, okay? Now, long story short, he's been, working and some kind of way working with other people's you know documents and she's been trying to survive as well so the hope is they're hoping that someday they'll find a way to sort out their papers and stuff but as she indicated here you know we were very much in love for many years they've known each other from nigeria before coming to the uk now he got in a major problem right he got caught up at his place of work he got, he got busted by you know uk border force so it came to the fact that you know he had no papers and stuff and then he got locked up in the you know immigration uh you know detention center potentially facing deportation back to nigeria so this lady that sent me this email tried everything humanly possible contacted this guys you know um one of his brothers or uncles or something based here in the uk who's who's a british citizen who's you know, doing well for himself they put forces together with some other friends who were able to raise a few thousands of pounds to pay an you know, immigration lawyer just to make sure her boyfriend doesn't get deported right which is fantastic and i commend you know this woman's effort because you love someone you can go to any extent for them, right? That makes sense. So anyway, long story short, during the course of the immigration lawyer getting involved in the process and trying to get this guy out to make sure he doesn't get deported, yada, 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 boom. She discovers that he's got some kind of um, affiliation of, let's say, relationship with some white girl, right? Who's maybe a Polish or Lithuanian or something like that anyway. So from, the, from one of the EU countries who's based in the UK, so boom. This matter basically, you know, led to a major, this discovery led to a major upset and stuff. So this lady now said, yo, you know, who is this person and stuff? So anyway, the guy was temporarily released through the help of the immigration lawyer. So they had to go through the courts and all that stuff. So anyway, it became a massive argument. Okay, are you cheating on me? Are you, are you, you know, are you, are you sleeping with this woman and stuff? How come I never knew about her, blah, blah, blah. He then said, no, he's not, you know, sleeping with a white woman, yada, yada. He just kept her on the side. He's been talking to her about helping him to get his papers sorted. Basically, a sham marriage, you know, an arranged marriage to which you would present to the authorities in the UK. Uh, the authorities would then believe that, you know, that person is your partner, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill, right? So my man said, you know, hey man, I'm just trying to survive here. You know, it doesn't mean I don't love you and stuff. I was just trying to find a way to get my papers sorted. We're struggling, we're suffering. You have no papers, I have no papers. Long story short. So anyway, he then had to go to court, you know, to go face, you know, hearing and all that stuff. The, the hearing, the court process was quite stressful, you know, as you'd imagine, right? But the good news is the gentleman didn't get, didn't get you know, deported and stuff. But here is where, where things went bananas. You know, he denied. He said, oh, you know, I, I, I wasn't, I, I, you know, I, I'm not having any sexual relationship with her, yada, yada, yada. So it turns out that that white lady is pregnant. So he came out and she, you know, this lady as well has no papers and, you know, she, this is the person she loves dearly and all that stuff. So now to fast forward and she, fa she found out that her man has gotten this guy pregnant, this woman pregnant, sorry. So his explanation is, you know, I had to do what I had to do um, just so I can gain ground in the UK and, you know, so I can get my papers and then once I get my papers, I can come down to you and then we can sort ourselves, we can elope. So this woman's email to me is, frankly, you know, should I get my boyfriend, you know, deported and all that stuff that she was going to go speak to authorities and slow down. 
first of all, I'm, I'm sorry that you're caught up in this web of misery and complications and stuff. You know, you love someone, you fought really hard for him to make sure he didn't get deported. You love him, you, 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 you had pictured your life with this guy and then it turned out that he, he had gone to, you know, shag a white woman and got her pregnant. And I know this is a very common story within the black community, especially immigrants, you know, people trying to find their fit. People end up subjecting themselves to seriously complicated situations in the name of you know I need to get my papers and stuff like that and I get it you know it's it's a really really vast topic but I would say respectfully and and who am I to to give you instructions but this is my take please don't I know you are angry I know you are let down you love him and stuff but this is my simple take you know if someone loves you they will stay with you you it's impossible for for a man to tie a woman down it's impossible for for a woman to tie a man down if you're really on the same page you stay with each other regardless of our differences or misunderstanding and stuff he's trying to justify you know his action by saying oh i didn't mean to but there's no way you cannot mean to you got the woman pregnant you know now the white woman as she said in the email to me is latching onto that baby you know i mean to the, onto that pregnancy and and stuff and she's now saying to him that if you if you walk away basically that pregnancy is turned out to be an entrapment for this gentleman so if he tries to walk away or dump her suddenly she she's basically now there's a major point here. the white woman is saying to him i will sort your papers you're gonna get your papers but if you try to muck about try to dump me with this pregnancy or elope and stuff like that i would destroy you i would get you deported now this gentleman doesn't want to get deported and all that stuff and, and i know it's hard for you you're left in the middle of nowhere you've spent your money the money and i can imagine you working with other people's documents you've saved money you helped him to come out and he let you down maybe this guy is not your husband and i know it's devastating i know it's heartbreaking but i'm sorry that it's turned out this way but this is just my take it's just an advice okay i would say don't don't do it out of spite you know don't don't uh don't don't go speak to immigration don't get him deported you know just i know you're heartbroken just just let him go and try to move on with your life and i hope and pray that you find a way to sort yourself out who knows maybe the next person you you you, you get to meet might be the person that would help you make that transition from being you know illegal to, to that but being an illegal immigrant isn't exactly a crime it's it's a, it's, a, it's a vast topic some people would say to you in black and white oh you are in breach of immigration you know rules and stuff which which is in fact true but doesn't exactly make the people involved there's so many stories behind you know each person's journey and how they became illegal and stuff so i cannot stand here and sound all righteous and try to taint everybody with a with a brush that's not my outlook on life you know i i need to hear your story and stuff i appreciate you sending me this information but please don't get him deported don't speak to authorities because they don't really care anyway they might even grab you yourself and deport you as well you know uk border force they control the uk immigration system okay you might go talk to them and they might talk to you they might say they want to see you for a face to face to gather more information get the police involved and if they realize that even you have no papers you might also get deported you end up in nigeria so what do you gain from it you know if it's that way there is a child involved i'm sure you will have to be committed to that white woman even though that wasn't his, his initial intention does that make sense so anyway that's me done um, i'm sorry you feel this way but i would say don't get him involved don't speak to authorities if it's still so heavy on your heart i would say move on just just leave him alone it's, it's a lot of pain to bear you've known him from nigeria i can imagine you've been committed emotionally to that man for so many years and this has happened i bet he's got his own story so i'm not trying to justify his actions he's let you down completely to put it quite simply let him go okay i wish you all the best in your endeavors and i hope you find a man of your dreams okay that will put that beautiful smile on your face as you deserve thank you it's your boy franklin if you haven't smash the like button smash the subscribe button um feel free to send me your topic ideas to the email below okay and i'll see you in the next video peace and love bye now bye.